Well, I'm working from the front porch today and it's just a beautiful day here in Central Florida. And I see that Mama Cat is crying at the gate. She probably wants fed. You picked perfect time there, kitty. What? Come here. Oh, yeah. You're a good kitty. What? Yes, you're pretty. Yeah. Okay. Let me record this, all right? <laughs> I've seen a lot of YouTube clips. Oh, come on now. I've seen a lot of YouTube clips about this idea of journaling as a second brain, which immediately got my interest because I've been using some form of journaling since the early days of personal digital assistance, mainly to help me keep track of policies and procedures, what to do if type documents, how to reset equipment, and similar seldom used, but when you really need it, <laughs> you really need it for work stuff. I just call it my CRS machine for can't remember stuff. Anyway, I recently made a shortcut that summons ChatGPT, and I thought I'd ask the big giant head about the concept of second brain when it comes to journaling. And here's what it said. What is the concept of second brain in journaling? The concept of a second brain in journaling refers to the idea of using a journal or note-taking system as an auxiliary storage for your thoughts, ideas, plans, and reflections. Essentially, it's a repository outside of your mind where you can offload and organize information much like a second brain. By jotting down thoughts and ideas, you can free up mental space, enhance your memory, and gain clarity on your thoughts and goals. It's about using external tools to augment your cognitive process and productivity. So says the big giant head. What? Okay, you can be in. You can be in the picture. That inspired me to make a series of short instructional videos wrapped around using Apple Notes with shortcuts as a second brain. What do you think about that, Kitty? Do you think that's a good idea? I don't know. The first two videos demonstrate how to build shortcuts for simple text entry and for dictating text. The one for dictating text puts emphasis on having the ability to quickly enter information that's automatically saved into a second brain folder. The third video demonstrates how to build shortcuts that easily add photos, video clips, and audio recordings into our second brain notes folder. And the fourth video, it's similar to the first two, except that it automatically creates a daily log with the first entry of the day and then append subsequent entries so that the information of the day is all in a single note that's stored in our brain's folder. You know, making Apple Notes has always been pretty easy, but finding them can be frustrating to say the least. So our fifth video demonstrates how to build a keyword list as a shortcut and how to integrate keywords into our second brain shortcuts. It also demonstrates building a handy search tool using that same keyword list so we can actually find the information we need when we need it. I put these videos into a playlist, which I'll add to the end screen of each video, and I'll put a link in the description, along with a link for downloading custom bookmarks in case you would like to use them on your home screen. They're absolutely free. The description will have a section for updates and revisions in case there are any appropriate for these clips, so please check it out. And if you would like to support this channel with a one-time or ongoing contribution, there is a buy me a coffee link in the description as well. And if you like these videos, please consider a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. I hope these help and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.